I stirred up a bit of controversy by suggesting that you find a Google image that kind of looks like you and put it on your swinging site. It's catfishing, it really is. Except that in 30 seconds, I didn't wasn't able to finish the discussion. I have people who I talk to who like, Sue, I work for the military. I go to Afghanistan, I'm in military intelligence. I'll die if my picture gets out. I'm like, mm, important safety tip. Or people who work in very senior positions. And I think discretion is okay. If, as long as you're doing it with the best of intentions, this is not getting a picture of you that's 10 years younger. This is not trying to lure somebody in with a picture that isn't you. This is about being able to meet something, being able to have your photo not on social media if you're in a situation where you can't. So that's it. That's it. what you want to do is have private pictures that are the real thing. You want to be able to do videos with somebody, um, Zoom calls, whatever, and about authenticity, but not to beat yourself up if you don't have a legitimate picture. Some places let you put up an emoji. Cool, but a lot of people will not do that. What they'll do is look at a picture. As I said, if I'm in a baseball cap and, and sunglasses, I could be any middle-aged blonde. What you don't wanna do is fake that in terms of people you're actually meeting. But I'm also really aware of discretion and how anxious people are about being on dating apps or on, you know, on social media if they're swinging. It's still anarchy for a lot of people. And it's really, it is, it's really crazy. Here I am at the cottage and I just, I wanted you to, you know, know that, you know, I'm thinking about you. And, and as I said, I got a fair amount of grief about it, but I stand by it. If you're in a position where you cannot, or it would be detrimental for you to be outed publicly. Be gentle with yourself. Have a great holiday weekend. I'm Sue and I got more.